Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing and the continuing action of the Final Fantasy Fracas. Today we've got groups six and seven of round two. From Flips Racing, it's the boss himself, headlining seven entries that advance during regular season racing in his jackhammer zoom in Frankenstein thing, rolling in a near perfect 15 in round one. From Indiana Diecast Racing, but driving a vapor racing puppy donation car, Crazy Jimmy D tied for the win of his first round group, despite only accruing one lap victory in that purple governor. And who tied Jimmy D in round one? Well, this guy, SR from White Knuckle Motoring, in his bulletproof that he rode to an identical first round. And from the venerable Rust Belt diecast, Borb Wilson is probably representing Techmordia in his Buick Wildcat, a staple for extraterrestrials in which he only racked up six points following a pair of first round DNFs. Flip and Jimmy will start up front SR and Borb in the back. Borb is slow out of the gate, leaving Jimmy to fend for himself, but that he does, blasting down the steeper outer lane crossover. Jimmy takes a big lead into Echo Base as SR nearly wrecks behind Flip. Borb is still moving, but he'll be hard pressed to catch the leaders. Lap one is Crazy Jimmy D, Flip, SR, and oh no, Borb rolls himself off the new safety barrier, but it at least did its job and kept the Buick on the track. A nice start for Jimmy D and a near miss for SR. That's Borb's third DNF in five laps, hopefully he can figure out a fix. SR assumes the pole inside flip for lap two. He gets the initial lead, but we know Flip's car has a ton of weight and a higher top speed. Flip with issues entering turn two and SR will pull way ahead. Flip still running second with Borb behind. No idea where Jimmy, oh, there he is. SR takes lap two, Flip is second. Or Wilson third, and Crazy Jimmy D comes in crazy behind for fourth. I think Flip Enter turn two just slightly askew enough that one of his front wheels, or the fender itself, caught the higher side wall of the turn piece. SR ties it up with Flip at six, Crazy Jimmy drops to third, one point behind, and Borb languishing well back with two. Borb needs a really strong second half. Certainly a lap victory that has so far eluded him in the six laps of competition. They're off, and Borb pulls ahead, but here comes SR. SR makes the pass in turn two, and looks to put up another W. Borb rolls in treacherous turn five, and it's gonna be SR and Crazy Jimmy D. Whoa, Jimmy rides the wall, is saved by the guardrail, and crosses just ahead of Flip. The Subtract Safety Surface is brought to you by Rust Belt Customs. When your car can't stay on track but you want it to look great anyways, go to Rust Belt Customs for all your custom decal needs. SR will carry a two-point lead into the final lap on the back of a pair of wins. But he'll start P4 behind board, potentially giving Jimmy D and Flip the advantage. Jimmy with a fast start, he's already pulling away. Borb and SR pass flip in turn two, and those long cars really don't like the angles of the single lane turns. SR tries to pass Borb and rolls an echo base. Flip snowplows him out of the way as Crazy Jimmy D takes lap four. Borb Wilson turns in his best finish of the day, and Flip takes third while our points lead, entering the lap, lays on his roof back by the gas station. Before we go to the final standings, let's look at what happened to SR. Coming down the straight on Hoth, SR is solidly behind Borb, but gets aggressive and tries to shove Borb up the track in the turn, and seemingly takes himself out instead. That DNF allows Flip to tie it up with SR, but for second, we'll head back to the track for our first to two in a row elimination duck off. With two lap victories, SR will start on the inside first. SR with a much faster start in that significantly lighter vehicle. Flip is moving, but he's certainly not gaining. SR 
SR takes the first lap and Flip is in danger of elimination. They swap lanes and Flip has a better start, but boom, SR hits the rockets. This could be it for Flip. No! SR rolls an Echo Base for the second time and gets shellacked by Flip, who will roll calmly to the finish, not only staving off elimination but gaining the advantage. And now SR, despite winning half the laps today, could be out of the tournament if he can't take the next lap. Back on the inside, this should bode well for SR. Sure enough, he gets way out front and sails through Echo Base with no problems. Wait! SR is wrecked again! Ooh! He gets hammered into the air by Flip, who in an incredibly unlikely come from behind victory, he will move on to round three, hot on the heels of Crazy Jimmy D. A truly unfortunate day for underdog SR, who really did put on a strong performance. Well, we move on to group seven, Kicking off with another Canadian, the Duke Canuck from the A-Team in his three-lap winning Cosmic Coupe. If I'm counting correctly, Vivi Ornetier, or Ornetier is the first of six entries we'll see this round from Funky Mother Chicken Racing. Vivi's in her Twin Mill 3 that she drove to win her group in the first round with a pair of lap wins. Representing the crankiest team in the tournament, Number one Summer is driving her riveted that took second in a super competitive round one group that included Bizarlo, Mimi, and Misty G, all of whom were only separated by two points. And lastly, winner of Wild Card Showdown Bracket 3, Louisa and her green lethal diesel are back on track for vapor racing. Lou scored a disappointing six points back in group 35, but stormed back as a wild card, knocking out drivers from Arlo. Funky Mother Chicken, and Dubious Diecast. Lap 1, Duke and Vivi up front, Summer and Louisa in the back. Duke initially leads the ladies, but they're all staying close. They enter turn 2, and Summer makes the double pass to move into second. Louisa drops back in Echo Base, but she's okay. Summer rolls in turn 5 and collects Vivi and Louisa. Duke wins one for Canada, Vivi rolls in second, and Louisa's third. Rough start for Team Grumpy Cloud, that probably won't improve Mark's mood. Really tough break for number one Summer who rolls in the infamous turn five for apparently no reason while challenging Duke for the lead. The stuntman on top after one. We'll get an instant rematch as Summer assumes the pole alongside Duke for lap 2. Summer and Louisa get in front and Duke's not accelerating enough to overtake. They maintain through turn 2 and Louisa's all over Summer. She looks for a gap, but Summer stays just ahead of Louisa for the win. Duke Canoop takes 3rd and Vivi Ornatier a distant fourth. Louisa aggressively cut up to Summer on Hoth, ironically, but seemed to let up on the gas on the lower half, possibly accepting a conservative second to pressing the issue and, you know, risking a DNF. Duke still in the lead with six, Louisa now in second with five, and both Vivi and Summer now have four. Here's what I've been waiting to see, Louisa starting P1. A competitive start with Summer, and the pair are out front again. Summer charges through two, but can't quite make it. Now it's Summer's turn to look for a gap, but Louisa's pulling away. The Queen of Green takes lap three. Number one Summer is number two. Duke Canuke spins out and collects Vivi, and it's gonna be a double DNF on the final straight. Domination for Louisa this time, and an unfortunate and unprompted DNF for Canute. Finally, some separation after three laps, Louisa assumes the lead with nine, and the rest of the group may be fighting for a second. Vivi on the pole and back up front for the first time since lap one. She's all but got to win this lap. Louisa commands the lead with some help from that steep crossover lane. 
JV gets a tap from Duke, but it's not enough as Summer makes the pass. Louisa is going to run away with it, and despite a late slide, number one, Summer will take points for second. VV is third, and Duke Canute fourth. Well, that will wrap up group seven, and for the first time in round two, both of the underdogs based on round one performance achieve top points in advance. All four drivers moving on to round three put up double-digit scores today. Congratulations to Louisa, Crazy Jimmy D, Number One Summer, and Flip. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the continuing round two action of the Final Fantasy Fracas. <laughs>